According to an Al Jazeera investigative journalist, President Emerson Unengogwa's emissary Hubert Angel called him, but the call was not recorded. The call was made by Angel at a time when she didn't expect it and had no recording equipment with her. According to the journalist who played Miss Sin, the fictitious Chinese mobster Mr. Stanley's secretary in Al Jazeera's four-part Gold Mafia series. Sin claims that during his chat with Angel, Umningogwa suggested developing a portion of the Zambezi River's shoreline. To seal the deals, he even demanded a private meeting with the team, as she discussed the two-year study on an Al Jazeera podcast. She made the statement. The journalist decided not to pay a 200,000 US dollars facilitation fee to Angel, which prevented them from meeting Umnengogwa in person. I will never forget this meeting. And one of my biggest regrets occurred at this meeting. I was taken out of the group by Ambassador Angel one on one, and he tells me to be quiet while putting his finger to his mouth. I didn't have any recording equipment with me because the others on the team did, said Sin. Occasionally, we would switch up who is recording and who is not. Angel dials the number of the man he claims to be President Emerson Unengogwa. And I am in the booth listening to what he is saying. A lot of it is in Shona, but the President is talking about how we should do more than just the casino on the Victoria Falls. He says what about the Zambezi River, and talks about how we should have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him. Auxilia, the wife of Unengogwa, was heard telling Angel to contact him about the manner of transportation for the gold that was going to be transported out of the country. He had the final say, she claimed. Angel was the key player who contributed information, gave names and audios to the investigative team and has reportedly been exonerated of all allegations that have surfaced since the documentary. According to ZANU PF strategist AC Lumumba, through his attorney Love Mohamed Huku, he has asserted that he was performing official duties when he investigated the possible investors before presenting them to the president.